Naughty Dog and Iron Galaxy have released a massive update version 1.1.0 for The Last of Us Part 1, which promises optimization to global GPU and CPU performance, enhancement for the shader compilation times, in addition to several fixes, new settings, and other improvements. So today, we'll take a look at this new update, see what's new, and also compare it to the previous major update, version 1.0.5. So without any further ado, let's get going. Let's take a look at the patch notes starting with optimization to improve global GPU and CPU performance throughout the game. And here in this CPU limited scene, we can see that overall the new patch has lower CPU usage in addition to lower VRAM and RAM usage. However, on the performance side, we can see that on average there is no significant difference between the previous and the new patch. On the GPU side, I did notice a decrease in performance with this latest update. I am not 100% sure why this is happening, but I think maybe this new patch changed the performance of some settings options, because I've seen some users claiming that some graphic settings presets are more demanding now. Now let's move on to shaders building time. If you recall, the previous patch 1.0.5 brought significant improvements in shader compilation time. Now with this latest patch, there is even further reduction in the time, with the main story finishing in 16 minutes, followed by the DLC and the main story of 1.0.5 in 19 minutes, and finally 23 minutes for the Left Behind DLC. So with this latest patch, there is a 3 minutes reduction in the main story and around 4 minutes minutes for the DLC with the Ryzen 5 5600X. And I've also checked to see if there are any shader compilation stutters and during the first run in this area, the game performance was stable and there were no indications of any kind of stuttering. This new patch introduced two new graphical settings. First we have dynamic lights quality, which according to the in-game description should control the quality and density of dynamic lights in some areas. And from what I've seen, I can confirm that this setting only affects some specific areas. For example, here even with a lot of dynamic lights at a distance, there is no difference between very low and high in terms of visuals or performance. But here we can see some visual difference where the side of this disc and also the whole room looks darker and very low compared to high, but performance wise there is no difference. The second setting is AI quality which should adjust some AI systems like perception and pathfinding, but I can't see any difference between low and high for this one, even when CPU bound in most encounters. And even here when I triggered the AI, the performance remains pretty much similar. So for this one, I would say if you're experiencing bad performance during encounters because of your CPU, try dropping this setting and see if that helps. So that's it for this one, and it's nice to see that the game is still improving, and right now, it's much better compared to the initial release. And the biggest improvement of this new update is the low CPU usage, which should greatly benefit users with weaker CPUs by providing more stable performance. And right now, I want to hear from you guys, especially those with weaker CPUs. Have you noticed any improvements with this new update? Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and for your time. If you like the video, leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one.